Hello piggy people! So today's video I want to update you about Annabelle. So she had her spay surgery. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put it up in the iCards. And I also have to talk to you guys a little bit more about Velvet because we've run into another complication. So it's, it's difficult to talk about Velvet, so keep in mind she's fine. She's doing great. But there is something now that we have to pay attention to. So first let's talk about Annabelle. She was spayed Tuesday, today is Thursday evening, so all of Wednesday she wasn't really coming out of bed, so every couple hours I took her out of bed, checked her incision, gave her something to eat, and would kind of keep her bed away for a little bit and get her eating and moving around. She's out right now. So Wednesday was kind of a, it was an okay day, like she did decent. But she definitely was not feeling her best. And then today we have been doing great. So she's back to her normal self of being out, eating, drinking, eating her pellets, pooping awesome. All her poops look 100% normal now. When she's sleeping in that bed she is squished right out like pancaked flat. It gets really warm in there because she has her heat pad underneath, a really big one. So she looks super comfortable and her incision looks perfect so everything's going really well for her so besides one day of where you know she was off and not quite herself she has bounced back very quick so we have two weeks where she has to heal and then another two weeks to let all of her hormones be gone so I'm very happy about that and it's nice to see her out and about hi little baby hey sweetie Okay, so let's move on to Velvet. So Velvet is back in the corner cube there. She's sleeping at the moment. So just to recap for people, Velvet was spayed uh, when I spayed Reese. Velvet immediately had some complications, so right away her incision was leaking fluid. Then it went quickly to a seroma, so a big collection of fluid under the skin. And then it went to swelling in fluid all down on her left hand side of her abdomen and she had to go in for a second surgery and it looked to the vet like she had a rare reaction to the first sutures that were used so it looked like they were trying to be rejected from her body causing the swelling and the fluids and looked like they're just coming being pushed out of her abdominal wall so obviously that was awful um, she recovered well from that they used a different suture so I guess they only have two is what my vet had said and they used the different suture so they had to replace her abdominal sutures clean her up inside and then replace the ones on the outside obviously she healed well from that looked really good and we went for our recheck and everything was going well and she felt like her whole incision line was solid sealed and so when Reese was done, after she was initially healed after the two weeks, for a couple weeks she had like a squish around where her sutures were inside and it's just like the body naturally breaking them down. So Velvet had this. Her squish lasted a bit longer but I could feel like suture knots still in place and it looked totally normal. It didn't look like anything, just looked like a little bit of a squish. That's all I can describe it as. So I check Velvet twice a week on cage cleaning nights because she gets foot ointment on her dry back feet. So just Friday, so this was, you know, three or four days before Annabelle was going to get spayed. It was a cage cleaning night and I had Velvet out and I do her check and immediately the spot where it was just squish looked like a bulge. Um, right away I thought, okay, this looks like a hernia. So I felt it very carefully and if I tilted velvet back a bit, I could make this bulge disappear and I could feel an indentation to me that felt like an opening, like kind of the size of the tip of my finger. So I knew it was a hernia. So 
called the vet in the morning and booked an appointment to bring her with Annabelle to go over what was going on. So when the vet checked, yes, it was a hernia. And the bulge is a fat from her abdominal cavity. So basically the vet said um, she is extremely reluctant to go in to fix the hernia. She said obviously we know that Velvet has a really hard time healing for whatever reason her body just does not do well with healing. And she said she's very reluctant to put her under anesthesia this third time, you know, within the last month, month and a half. That would be time number three. And if we did fix this hernia, there's a chance that it could not heal or just another one develops and it could be a worse one that develops. So she said she has lots of patients who have hernias, that they've had them for years and years and never had them fixed and nothing's ever happened. She said in the time that she's been a vet, never once has she seen a hernia have a bad complication. So she said her personal feeling was we should leave it and just keep an eye on it, just make sure, you know, it's not getting bigger and that it's not causing her any pain. So it's something I just will have to peek at again every cage night just to make sure it doesn't look different. I have to watch to make sure she's always acting the same. So if her appetite were to change or she's acting like she's in discomfort and if I touch around the area and she acts like it hurts then obviously we're going to have to reevaluate what to do. But I think there's a couple good sides to guinea pigs having one. I'm trying to be positive here. I mean, there's no good side to a hernia, but they're really low to the ground. So when her little bulge is out, it's already touching the ground. And I think that's good for it not having a lot of pressure to keep falling down further if she was an animal that stood up higher. And guinea pigs lay around a lot. So again, like that's just going to keep it close to her body or inside her body if she's laying down. Uh, it also said that it was good that it's fat that's come out because that kind of plugs the hole from like intestines coming out. That would be what we would be most concerned about but again the vet who I see she said like she's never had intestines come out and have like a torsion or a twist. So this whole thing like it sucks guys and I know a lot of people because this is the internet are probably gonna think like this is what happens when you spay your guinea pigs what's happened with velvet is off the wall weird random not normal like not the norm so I just want to kind of make that clear that what's everything that's happened with her like nobody could predict that this crazy stuff was gonna happen and trust me, like, I've thought of everything of, like, should I have done this? Should I have not? But, like, here's the thing. I spayed her so she doesn't have any hormones affecting her day-to-day -day life. Because she was a piggy who was acting out with hormones when she was in heat and acting up with Reese. So, like, that's stressful day-to-day -day for them. And, two, um... The chances of ovarian cysts or uterine cancers are very real. If you're in the guinea pig community and are on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of those places, you see it everywhere with female pigs having these problems. And I've had a pig have these problems. So I used to get pigs that were already spayed from a rescue. And like one of the first females that I adopted that wasn't spayed is the one who had the ovarian cysts and that's ended up being what took her life basically. So like I do it for a reason for their health, for their happiness. I wasn't spaying just for the fun of it. Like the spays are expensive. Um, it's really serious up like to care for them after. Like you have to be on the ball and looking after them. So like it wasn't for fun. I did it for them and Obviously, if I had known that Velvet was going to have such a crappy reaction, then, 
Yeah, sure I wouldn't have spayed her, but how could you ever guess that that was going to happen? So, yeah, I'm sensitive about the subject because, you know, this it stinks. You never, ever, ever want your guinea pig to have a problem. And then now she has an issue that we have to pay attention to. So the good thing is this isn't affecting her day-to-day -day life. She's happy. She isn't in discomfort. So I'm just going to have to monitor it and hope that we don't have a complication that we have to revisit the surgery talk because I absolutely agree with the vet that putting her under again isn't the best and that clearly if we fix that hernia I think I'd be terrified that something else in her abdominal wall is just going to weaken and she'll have another one so yeah it sucks guys but I want to be open and honest with you guys because I always am I started this channel to share my experiences, to help educate people, to let you guys know that you're not alone with the highs and the lows of guinea pigs. And this just happens to be something that I have to deal with. I chose to have her spayed and now this is where we're at. And I think people are going to obviously think like, is this going to change my opinion on spaying and neutering? And I have to say it doesn't. Because as I said, like, what's happened with her wasn't even on the list of possible complications. It wasn't a normal thing for her to have a reaction to the suture material. Like a hernia, yeah, that can happen, but I think it all comes down to, like, how she reacted to the sutures and her abdominal wall and all our healing and all that stuff so obviously I'm still for spaying and neutering your guinea pigs if that's what you guys choose to do I obviously still had Annabelle spayed even though our appointment with Annabelle had velvet there hearing about her hernia and I think anybody who knows me who's watched me for like the past 10 years I care about my pigs like they're my number one thing so I don't make decisions lightly and this is just a crap thing that has happened so anyway like I appreciate all you guys because I know everybody's very supportive even the people who you know don't think they they would ever spay their guinea pigs for whatever reason it is are still very kind and nice so this is where we're at and I just felt I want to be 100% open with you guys as I always am because this is something that can happen very rare but it did of course it happened here so anyway um, thanks guys for watching and just know that I'll be watching Velvet and always choosing to do the best thing for her if you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!